Well, what do we have here? Is that a bunny? No. Is it a possum? No. Uh, too fast. Looks like it's a rat. Alright. Goodbye, Mr. Rat. Get along now. Alright, y'all tube. At behest of my friends, I have strapped my AGM ass to my head. And contrary to what other y'all tubers will say, it mostly works. Um, I have mounted it to my bargain bin Gen 2 monocular, and I can flip it up out of the way when it's not needed, because sometimes thermal just, just doesn't work, or at least this one doesn't. I don't think you should use this thing as a standalone unit. It just... It's just cheap, or it just was, doesn't do the job as a standalone, because sometimes you can't make heads or tails of an area under this thermal. Also, IR picks up on stuff that thermal just can't pick up on, like frogs, snakes, and alligators. And ironically, you can see a campfire farther away with the IR than you can under thermal. Also, if the temperature is above about 85 degrees, animals that are about 85, 90 degrees don't really stick out as much. And you can forget about thermal in the rain. That water just washes all the temperature the same. So, yeah, thermal's no good there. Uh, also, this guy isn't so great at penetrating leaves and light cover. Uh, if you got a good bush, you can hide. Thermal is great at some stuff, though, like seeing warm-blooded animals, deer, what have you, seeing in complete darkness, like if you're in a wooded area with no moon, no stars, the trail's going to stick out real good because the leaves are different from the gravel and rocks and stuff that your trail's going to be made out of. Uh, as far as using them simultaneously... Uh, no, your brain does not mesh them together. The, the image is just one eye or the other eye. It's, it's not the same. At least mine doesn't. Uh, after a couple hours, yeah, I get kind of a headache using both at the same time. But that's no big deal because you just flip it up out of the way and you stop using it. Headache goes away. Uh, as far as the googly eye thing, yeah, they, they splay out a little bit, but... Because I'm using one eye or the other eye, not at the same time, it doesn't really matter. I mounted this thing like a hillbilly. It's zip tied on there. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. But uh, it does work. And um, I'm going to show you some footage where we can divulge how effective or not effective this is. <laughs> Drop on those nods, let's go. All right, you can see here, I've got the thermal on the left side and the infrared on the right. Walking through this little path here, I'm gonna get up to a creek and a wide open area. The IR is being recorded on a night fox cape it's a digital device with um, an illuminator on. So here you can see the deer in the background with the thermal. And on the right side, you can see the IR, where there's a house back there with some lights. And it's easier to see that than it is on the thermal because the house is the same temperature as the background. There goes the deer. And I couldn't even see that deer with my um, real night vision binocular. It just blend right in the background. However, with thermal, you can see them as clear as day. There's actually a little creek there on the other side, and you can see the roadway. It's a dirt road there. I'm going to continue up a little ways and get onto a trail. The trail sticks out pretty well because of the more worn area. Kind of stays with the heat from the day. 
more than the rest of the foliage. There you can really see that tree in the corner where it doesn't show up too well on the thermal, but in the IR it's pretty easy to notice it. Because the IR is using that illuminator, you get a lot of reflection back, so you can't see too far beyond that. If you were to use a regular light-disciplined monocle, you could cut right through those leaves and see beyond them. The thermal is pretty limited there, but you can see the trail markings with the thermal versus on the IR. That's about as uh, close to real as I can get you on thermal experience with IR on the right and thermal on the left.